Hello everyone on YouTube, all of my children, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. And now I'm going to talk about the new balance patch. And overall, it is very, very good. Some people have been negative regarding it, uh, but I feel like this is a very big step in the right direction. They, it seems like they've been listening. A lot of the top 10 characters, or you could go into character select and look at the top row, the DLC row. Historically, many of those characters have been in the top 10, and they've been like one head, one level above everyone else. And these characters have seen really big nerfs. Like some of them, like Fakum Ram, Geese, it's like they took a sledgehammer to their knees. And Devil Jin finally got nerfs I've wanted to see for a long time. His broken wall combo back to one is gone, for example. So we're gonna take a look at some of these characters. I don't want this uh, patch, uh, sorry, the video about this patch to be too long. Um, but there are big problems. So you nerf the shit out of Geese, you nerf Fakum Ram, many of these top tiers. But Akuma, who is arguably the best character in the game, he got one nerf, and it's Demon Flip 3 is no longer uh, a counter it launcher. Everything else about this character remains the same. Like, everything. So, yeah. So, I, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. So you nerf a shit out of Geese, which is the right thing to do. Geese was way too strong. I love Geese, but he was OP. But you leave Akuma is the same. So, uh, uh, really dumb. And he got this new uh, stagger mechanic. Uh, this new stagger. You see on block here. Certain characters got this new mechanic on hit, and certain characters got it on block. So now while running one, plus 17 at the wall. And this character already has the best wall pressure in the game, by far. So, this is where I, I just scratch my head. I don't understand it. And then we can go to... Fengwei, and I knew Fengwei hasn't been nerfed. He's seen a few nerfs, but nothing major. And I understood this was going to happen because I think they made this patch quite a while ago, and the Feng Mei ha had hadn't really started gaining true momentum, and he just won Evo. So Fengwei is still super dumb. Down for one, neutral on block. Back, wa back one. All right, I have him on standing guard. Back one. Up for two still. Gigantic pushback. Making it safe. Down back three. Down two for some reason. Uh, still minus... Only minus 12. Still knocks down for guaranteed stomp. Sidestep four launches. Down for three. Still minus seven. This combo is still here. Uh, shoulder still hits like a goddamn truck. Kempo still here, alive and well. Punch parry is still minus 12. Uh, doesn't knock down anymore into a guaranteed shoulder, a normal hit. But that was never really a big problem. Uh, so Feng Wei still godlike. And if you, if you think you saw this character a lot during EVO, get ready for Tekken World Tour where it's gonna be 30% Feng Wei. I mean, they, they, they've nerfed so many of these godlike characters now, but they don't touch Akuma, they don't touch Feng Wei, and they did not touch Zafina. Those characters, yeah, and Jin also is gonna be super good now. But so Feng Wei basically remains untouched. Uh, Akuma and Feng Wei got away with murder this patch. Mur murder, pretty much. Zafina I'm not even gonna show. She's unchanged, basically. 
But so now, now we can look at the characters who were super strong and got hit really hard. So we can we can start with my boy uh, Geese. He got hit. But I'm I'm very happy Geese got nerfed. So sidestep three, still plus four, uh, st still minus twelve on block, but no longer a launcher on counter hit. Now you get the plus seventeen. Super good because that was broken. That was like the best law in the game. Uh, but another like pretty gigantic nerf is one of his best buttons and space control is down for two. Now it doesn't spin them around anymore. It throws them super far away and you can't pressure. So usually you'd be able to pressure with two down for twos in a row or down for two, down for one. Now they're just so far away, you have to run in to, to keep your pressure up. And, and and here they can hit you, they can magic for you, whatever. And it also lost its counter it launching property. So all you get now is them going far away at a plus 11. So re really big nerf. And then they nerfed his, his parry. This is no longer guaranteed, standing two. You used to have 16 frames to do a follow-up, now you only have 14. So now if you have meter, you do back three two, which is still really good, but nowhere near as powerful as getting his, his standing two sequence. But that was pretty much broken. So it's good to see that go. But the problem now is that if you don't have meter, that's basically it. 1 plus 2 would have been nice at 14, but you don't have enough reach. We could have gotten that, but nope. So, yeah. Uh, that's basically it. So that's uh, big, big nerfs for Geese. Another top uh, top character that was hit super hard was Fakum Ram. Uh, Fakum Ram, Leroy, Devil Jin all got hit really hard, so we can take a look at them quickly. But it's really good that it's super good that these characters get nerfed. But the problem is, you nerf these characters so hard, but then you leave Zafina, Akuma, and Fengwei untouched, who all were in the top eight at Evo. It's. <laughs> So again, Fakum Ram, uh, where do you even start? This character, pound for pound, is the most nerfed, I think. Which is so much. 3 plus 4 is counter hit launcher, mid. Minus 11 used to be minus 9. You, you literally get punished for this now. Uh, down back 4 does less damage. You'll notice it, it doesn't give a hit spark anymore. Less damage. But they also made it launch punishable at minus 15. Nice. So you take away damage and launch punishable. That's pretty fucking big. And then his super powerful 14 frame block punish or wave punish back one no longer gives a guaranteed follow up. So, so, so you used to do back one, forward for two one for 50 damage, but now you'll just do this. That's it. Yeah, Fort Fort 1 plus 2 is Demon Uppercut. Launch punishable now. It used to be minus 14. Now it's minus 15. Uh, it's 3 1 4. Launch punishable. 3 1 4 4. Launch punishable. Uh, God, what else did they nerf on him? Oh, right. They, they removed his magic 4. Yeah. No magic four. Also a huge, huge nerf. Oh right, and that one doesn't knock down. So, you know, he still has what? Fu thunder kick, while running free, plus nine. This is what? Plus six, plus five. So he still has down for one bullshit. Downford 1 into mix-ups, standing free into mix-ups, guard break. 
But these are really, really big nerfs for fucking Ram. Uh, and then Leroy also really big nerfs. Back three is not a launcher anymore. <laughs> Fort 422 is launch punishable at minus 15. His 12 frame counter at launcher is no longer minus nine. So now it's punishable at minus 10. Uh, God, what else got nerfed? Didn't one of his lows get nerfed? No, his parry, his parry got nerfed, right? The follow-up is minus. I'm pretty sure the follow-up is minus now. Nah, it's punishable. Minus 10. It used to be minus 9. I think. Oh, right. Is 10 frame counter its string? No longer knocks down. Right, and his back 4. This used to do the spin spinneroonie for huge amounts of frames. Plus 11, I think. Plus 5 now. And it no longer wall splats. <laughs> This was one of his best moves next to a wall. Can't wall splat anymore. Yeah, he's still solid for sure, but these these are big, big uh, nerfs. Big nerfs. Of course, we have to look at Devil Jin, who was top 5 and is no longer top 5. Jin is now the strongest Mishima. So, uh, they finally killed the back to 1. It's gone. It went from 27 damage to now no damage. They literally removed all of the damage. You'll note now. You saw that? It's gone from doing 27 to what? 10? It does no damage. They removed all of the damage. So now you're back to doing uh, laser cannon. And if you can't run in and do that, you'll do the super old school 1, 2, back 4. So, uh, Hell Sweep now no longer gives uh, 65 plus damage. Because as you'll see, you'll never use that wall combo again. I'm not even sure you're gonna use that on uh, Forgotten Realm, to be honest. It does so little. So now we're gonna get 55 damage. Like so. And that is actually fair. That is fair. It's not 65 or 67 into godlike Oki. And another huge, huge nerf up forward four. No longer knocks down. Plus eight. And it throws them. You can't even use the plus eight because it throws them so far away. So far away that you really can't do much here. But close to the wall, it will stagger for plus 20. But so, yeah, ve very, very substantial nerfs for, uh, for Devil Jin. Uh, so, I just want to show the best Mishima real quick. Jin pretty much is unchanged. All they, we we're gonna show Kazuya as well. All they did was nerf while standing free. They gave him, they gave it this new stagger property, right? And this used to spin a Rooney. And it no longer wall splats. This, this, this move would wall splat. 
in the neutral here, it would give better advantage. So, and, and it, it no longer counter it launches. So th this move is very nerfed. It's still solid, but it's very nerfed. But apart from that, Jin remains as good as he, he was. Uh, all the other... Many of the other god characters have been nerfed, so Jin only losing uh, while standing free really shines right now. He's very, very good. Very good. And Gi's parry was nerfed, so this parry now is by far the best parry in the game. But it, it was already kind of broken. Uh, so Jin godlike. Be best Mishima, I think. You could still argue Devil Jin, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if Jin is the best now. So Kazuya, nothing happened except for Fujin uh being nerfed. And really, really nerfed. It's pretty much the same treatment as Jin got on while standing free. So Uraken gives... Uh, it used to give plus 13. Now it gives 11. But the problem is it knocks them so far away. So far away. That is a hell sweep whiffs. It knocks them too far away. It's You're going to take a big risk now going in with your 50-50. And again, used to wall splat. No wall splat. Instead, plus frames. But it's much better to get guaranteed damage through a wall splat. And just like Jin's uh, while standing free, the counter it property is gone. So no longer that super cool counter it bitch slap where they fall to the ground and you get 444 into vortex. So Fujin Iraken is going to see very little use now, at least from me. Um, that is just not good enough. So that's unfortunate, but other than that, Kazuya remains the exact same. Uh, Electric is the same. Recovers super fast and tracks uh, okay to his weak side. I actually wish they would have nerfed that, but it's still there, the tracking to his weak side. Um, any other character we would like to talk about? Lydia. Lydia got significant nerfs as well. Also a character a lot of people want to see nerfed. Cooney also got uh, a lot of nerfs. So a very nice thing about Lydia is Political Storm. A super busted string. Uh... Final hit has always been launch punishable at minus 15, but stopping at any other hit would always be minus 10. Now it's minus 14. Every every one of these hits. As you can see, so that's very good. String is too good. Uh, Fort Ford 1 plus 2 is a follow-up to a lot of her either a parry or mini juggles. Uh, clean it property is gone. This used to hit like a truck, now only does 23 damage. Her Hell Sweep has like no clean hit range whatsoever. She has to stand literally right next to the opponent for this to trip. And I also believe it, it, it gives less Oki. She recovers slower on hit. Did her hop kick get reduced damage? And this string doesn't uh, knock them uh, far away. It doesn't give a lot of distance anymore in combos. You see? That would, that would, the last hit would knock them super far away for a wall. But now it's, it does nothing. It's, it's like a normal hit midair. It just keeps floating them. So that's a big nerf to her uh, wall travel. All oh, right, sidestep four is the, th this used to launch a normal hit. Sidestep four, uh, even on counter it now, no launch. Uh, 
Uh, so that's very good. 442 remains the same. Oh, right, and our 424. Uh, you know how you would do this? Unblock into wall splat? 424 no longer wall splats. So she will no longer get that cheap damage from you. Uh, but it still it still gives uh, plus 14. So she can still do political storm here, guaranteed on block. And she will get that new stagger mechanic into plus frames. So she gets a plus 16 situation to play around with. But uh, removing the guaranteed wall splat from this is very good because that was super cheap, super cheap. Uh, and then one, two, two got adjusted. Some have I missed something important on Lydia? Are there patch notes we can read out anywhere? Only if you know Japanese, because for some reason we have 10 million sales on this game, but we can't provide uh, English translation on patch notes. Even though 99% of the community does not speak Japanese. It's just astounding. But I honestly, I, I did, did not expect anything uh, more. But uh, did I miss anything? A broken string has no pushback on block. Right. Oh, right. Minus 10, no pushback. That's very good. This was so abusable. Very good. Down for two into one, no longer wall spots. What? This one. Damage two damage got nerfed. Oh, they nerfed the damage of the slow. That's very good. Uh, let's see, we looked at uh, whatever other top 10s we haven't looked at. Kuni, I haven't even um, read the patch notes, the Japanese patch notes on. But I feel like I've covered the biggest upsets. Yoshi got a really weird buff with forward 1 plus 2 in my opinion. Paul remains the same. Paul Paul is going to shine a lot now that everyone else is nerfed. Oh, Mar Marduk is a joke. Marduk got no nerfs. Marduk got no nerfs. So Marduk is a problem. Lee got no nerfs. Lee is super strong right now. Ryan, super strong. Claudio got almost broken wall pressure now due to his... Uh, his while running too, the Superman punch has uh, unblocked now at the wall this stagger effect. Um, switch positions. You'll see that. That's that's a new stagger mechanic. You see, ooh, plus seven. Now note here at the wall. No, note that Claudio already has uh, had some of the best wall pressure in the game. Simply due to back one being a, a perfect attack and especially at the wall Only minus five recovers one step away from the opponent super long range wall splatting homing mid Like perfect attack And he can mix that with sidestep four, which is obviously his best low But look at those frames If Horang faces me. Look at the frames. If you do a while running two and your opponent blocks it with his back towards the wall, plus 21 frames. Nice. And that's a high, obviously, 
but it becomes a little bit problematic when the character has a perfect mid to mix this up with that cannot be sidestepped. So this this is about to yeah. That mix up is gonna be hilariously awful to deal with. Uh, awful. Uh, so that's a big buff to Claudio. It should be noted that Dragonov that also pressures well. He got a similar thing with his uh, his Ford Ford Free, which is his high homing. This one, boom! You see, same mechanic. So at the wall, plus seventeen. And that's a that's a wall splatting high, right? Homing. So it's a similar type of mix-up with Claudio. This is gonna be fun. A fun mix-up. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, interesting. Jack, I, I just didn't see a lot of interesting things. So Fangway's stupid. Giga's got a pretty nice buff. Ford Ford free here. Minus four on block. So that's a mid, knee. 23 damage. Plus eight on hit. Counter it launcher. Oh wait, there we go. I mean, that's, that's a pretty nice attack to have. For, for Gigas. Yeah, we, we covered Leroy. Uh, what else did uh, Lord Gigas get? Oh, standing free. Went from plus two to plus four. Standing four went from plus four to plus six, I think. Oh, right, and while standing one, encounter it. Huge frames. And someone said that guarantees uh, a rage drive attempt. I don't think, yeah, I guess we can't jump here. But you, you would have to test that out. But it would be cool. Oh, Lars. Lar Lars got some cool stuff. Uh, so let's see. Lars, ooh. Sort of a nerf as well, in my opinion. Um, his health sweep. You'll see in the, new ch in the open here. Used to be plus three, leave them right next to you. Now you're like, oh, plus eight, but knocks them super far away. That's a nerf in my opinion. But at the wall, plus 17. So you can, I guess buff over, I don't know. It's like, that's not good. But at the wall, super nice. Very nice. But so the buff is... Ooh! Yo! Back one plus two. Still only minus 11. Homing mid. On counter it now. Fl the first hit will float them. And we can pick up. It's pretty nice. 
I mean, it's not anything like mind blowing, but it's certainly nice to have. Uh, Lee, Lee is super good now. Again, no, no real buffs. Oh wait, his his Hitman One Plus Two was buffed. I think it has this new property. Yeah, Hitman One Plus Two. Plus 14 in the neutral. Oh, wait. What were the frames at the wall? Plus 26. Yeah, that's a buff. And still safe. And plus 14 here is actually good, considering you can threaten with Ford Ford free, right? Lee, Lee is gonna be super good now. With the nerfs to everyone else. Yeah, pro probably top 10. Who else is worth? Paul remains the same, pretty much. Uh, got an absolutely useless version of a new stagger mechanic. You have to do... do uh, same for Brian. Remains the same and got a pretty useless version of a new mechanic. Hold? And you get it. But you have to hold. And then you get plus 16. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see that as being very strong. And same for Brian. Brian's version of this stagger mechanic is if you hold Ford Ford free. Plus 13. Obviously, here, they can't give him 20, plus 26, you know, like they do with Lee or plus 23, because that guarantees a taunt. Taunt is 28 frames. So, Brian, you, you better be careful. So, plus 13, you, you, uh, some people are saying, oh, you're gonna set up taunt. But the thing is, they have time there to sidestep, they have time to jab you, they have 15 frames to do something before the taunt connects. So, yeah, I, I just don't see this as being very good. Th this move comes out at 34 frames. So if you know your opponent is going to respect you for 34 frames, you might as well do a, do a fucking taunt. Right? That's 28 frames. Uh, boom. Heihachi remains the same. His backpack 1 plus 2 gives the stagger, but it's very slow. Uh, Huarang remains the same, pretty much. Jack got some notable buffs. Kazumi remains the same. King pretty much remains the same. Oh, we, we took a look at Dragonov. Leo got pretty significant buffs. Down for two launches uh, crouchers now. Down for two plus three, the quick uh, counter it launching low is two frames faster. Uh, and uh, stands free, the jumping, um, uh, God, what do you call it? Jumping spinning crescent kick, it's plus 10 on block with that new stagger mechanic for the wall. So, Leo got some nice stuff. Master Raven got nerfed. I haven't even taken a look at it, but I hear her back turn power crush does not knock down into a guaranteed back free anymore. Which is really huge, if it's true. Yep. That is huge. But does it still work uh, in her combos? I'm sure it does. Uh, 
Is that still a thing? Uh, I hear her wall combo got nerfed from max damage one. This string saw so, uh, damage reduction. They nerfed this throw, right? That used to do 48, now does 45. Yeah, this is a big nerf. This move was so strong. Knocked down into a guaranteed back three. Very, very strong. Now it's like plus six and they're super far away. Uh, but I mean, 114 is still here, right? Yeah, she's fine. And down back two is unchanged, right? Oh, Julia, my god, that's a character I should have covered straight away. A uh, broken top five character that saw also a lot of nerfs. So again, it's, it's just a great patch. It's a great patch. We just missed the mark on Akuma, Zafin, and Fengli. So, Fort Fort 1 plus 2 is no longer a wall bounce. Knocks down. Uh, full crouch sweep no longer gives a mix-up between Fort Fort 2 and down 1 plus 2. It knocks from far away now. That should never have been a thing. But it still doesn't stagger on block. So you still have to block low mid and then launch at minus 17. This should stagger, this first sweep. Uh, so that's a bit stupid. Uh, oh, they nerfed stomp damage and fort fort free damage. You see, it doesn't spark anymore. It does 18 now. So this nerfs all kinds of stuff where she would use uh, uh, fort fort free. Different Oki situations. But here at the wall where it was guaranteed after a sweep. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage now. And this also nerfs uh, one of the best wall combos in the game. This one does much less now. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, God, what else got nerfed on Julia? Oh, while standing free, big nerf. No Spinneroonie. No knockdown. That's re really nice. Oh, and... Uh, uh, Streamer dash in four is no longer a counter it launcher. This would trip on counter it for a combo That's also super nice uh, What have I missed? Oh right Ford for one no longer wall splats No wall splat Yeah, while standing free no wall splat this is really big. Ford Ford 1 uh, still remains one of the best neutral tools in the game. Uh, it seems unchanged to me. Second it is still a counter it launcher. Yeah, this, this move is still absolutely godlike. Top 10 attacks in the game. Um... Uh, anything I've missed with Julia? I think that's it. A while running 2-1, still the same. Yeah, I showed Ford Ford 1 plus 2. But so, uh, a lot of really nice nerfs on Julia. Liking this a lot.
Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. I think I've covered the characters I wanted to cover. I'm gonna finish off. I gotta go pick up my son. So I'm just gonna finish off with talking a little bit about Asuka. Got some nice buffs, uh, but again, just uh, ruining character identity a little bit, in my opinion. The most interesting thing about Asuka was that she was forever and ever the only Tekken character, the only character in the game to not have a 10 frame punish. All she could do if her opponent was minus 10 uh, was a jab. <laughs> 8 damage, plus 9. That's it. The only character in the game to have this. Very, very interesting. So this would lead to interesting things where, for example, if you knew about this, and, for example, you're playing Heihachi, it's like, uh-huh, my 1 plus 2, bam, is super good in this matchup. Knockdown, and if she doesn't tech, guaranteed stomp. But if it's blocked, I'm only minus 10. I'll only eat a jab. Risk reward is entirely in my favor. This is a very, very interesting detail that just changes the way you play the game and your character. But so now this interesting detail is gone because now they've given her a dedicated 10 frame string. This is now a natural. And again, this is not a very good 10 frame, but I loved the fact that all she could do was a jab. That was very interesting, in my opinion. So now you get one free for 18 damage and neutral frames. Uh, oh, and then this parry is now very consistent now. It used to give a very awkward launch. Now you get to combo from straight ahead. So that's nice. Uh, they also made down back free faster and it's really noticeable too. It's just one frame faster, but it just feels that much faster That was already a very good low by the way And I believe they increased the damage on down for free Which is used in all kinds of combos While standing 1 plus 2 is the new stagger mechanic. But now you'd think, oh, so like with Fujin Uraken and Jin's um, while standing 3, that must mean it's lost its counter it attribute. Nope. If she retains this. She does not lose her counter hit property. Um, what have I missed on Ask Askers? Who do you think are the winners in this patch? Everyone who was in top 10 who was not changed. Akuma is by far the biggest winner. Uh, and he is followed by Feng Wei. Those two are top two now. And then followed by Zafina. They were all free in the Evos, right? Evo uh, top eight. Evo top eight. And they were not nerfed. Feng Wei got a tiny slap on his wrist. That's it. So Akuma top one, Feng Wei top two, and then followed by Zafina. And then big winners are super strong characters that did not get nerfed. Like uh, Jin, for example, super good. Lee, super good. Paul didn't... Marduk did not get nerfed. Uh, so th they are the winners, you know. Agis is not a winner. He got big nerves. Steve. St Steve is also a big winner. Yeah. Uh, but this is now 44 minutes. I think that's going to be it. But my again, my general thoughts are... I want to say two thumbs up, but... Leaving Akuma, Feng Wei, Zafina like that, that's one thumb up. Otherwise, like, great work. But if you don't nerf those three for... The, the Tekken World Tour, uh, those characters are going to be everywhere, especially Feng Wei. They were in the EVO Top 8 for a reason, and them, them not being nerfed is... Uh, that's a big ol' problem. A big ol' question mark. 
Uh, so thanks for listening to me, everyone. Have a nice day.